Hey everyone, it is Monday, which means we're back with another Smart Suite Showcase. My name is Nate, and if you're new here, this series is all about giving you insights on how customers are using our platform based on the implementations our onboarding team has done this past week. In this episode, we're going to be taking a look into a patient management system that we have built inside of Smart Suite. This build out gives an overall view of what is happening with a patient inside of your business to help improve that customer experience. Even if you're not using Smart Suite to manage patients, the structure and views of this video might be helpful in improving your CRM and you may learn a thing or two. So stay tuned. Let's dive right in. Before I take a look at the different apps and what's going on here, I first want to talk about the requirements for this particular user. This user wanted to improve their customer experience by being able to personalize the service that they're providing them over their different channels. And to achieve this, they wanted to give their team members a 360 degree view of the customer or the potential customer to help aid this process. In this particular solution, we have six apps here at the top. Today, I'm only going to focus on patients because this is really the heart and soul of this build and this solution here. Everything is connected back to patients. This particular user wanted one place to see that 360 degree view of what is happening with a particular patient. We're in a grid view right now that lists out the patients, giving some high level information about a particular patient. Now let's look inside a record. And if I hit the space bar while hovering, I'll open up this record here. I'm gonna talk about each section what it is and how it relates to that overall goal. Starting with the general information, we have that status of the customer, who this is assigned to, and then the activity count, which I'll actually talk about last. Moving down, we have the contact information where we can validate the phone number and the email of the patients with the country as well. We also have the referral information, which gives you more context about where this particular patient came from, and it can help you serve the customer better. Here we have the location with every single country in the world. This actually came from our predefined lists. So if you want to go ahead and add any of these, you can import the list. So you don't actually have to add every single country there. And more specifically, we have that address field, which allows you to pinpoint and validate the exact address of this patient. And customers have actually used this to try to figure out where their next location should be built based on where the patients are. Opening up opportunities here, we can see we have an expanded display because we wanna see the information from that opportunity. And if we click on this opportunity, it opens up and we can see all the details of the opportunity directly in here. If we were working on this particular patient and wanted to change the opportunity and provide notes, we could do this right here. When we save it, information is stored directly in here and updated live. Moving down to interactions and appointments, this is tracking all the touch points that your team has had with this particular patient in the past. In this first linked record, linked to interactions, we are once again using the expanded display so we can see the relevant fields for a particular interaction. We completed an interaction with a customer this past week. It was on the phone and here are the interaction notes. If I wanted to open up this interaction, I could simply click on it and I can see the full details about this interaction. All that information is stored right here. This link to interaction allows you to see every single interaction you've had with a particular customer that would be important to have for future interactions. Moving down here, we have the link to appointments. We can see due date, the status, and the link to payments. If we open up this link to appointments, we can see more information about it, like the status of it, the due date, the link to the relevant quotes that are happening for this particular appointment. We also have a link to payments Let's say we wanted to create a new appointment for a particular patient. We can do this with the link to record button here and hit create new record. So let's say we were recording an appointment that already happened and we wanted to create a payment for it. We can simply create this record directly from here, title the payment, add the status, add the due dates, the payment amounts, and save it. We're automatically linked back to this appointment. And if I save again, we've now added that appointment. You can see we're actually choosing in the fields to display of this linked record, the link to payments. This allows us to access data that is two links away in one click. So if I wanted to check out the payment for a particular appointment, I can simply click on that linked record inside of the linked record. I would get that information right here. Moving down here, we have the number of appointments booked and the number of appointments complete. Let's say you just had an interaction that you recorded with this particular patient and there was some sort of action that needed to take place for this particular patient. You can simply add a particular task, assign a person and a due date, add the item in, and this will show up in the My Work section, which rolls up all the tasks from all different solutions inside of your workspace in one place. You also have this Smart Doc field, 
with rich text capabilities to track any notes for this particular patient. This is a place to just put notes that might not be related to interactions, appointments, or opportunities that you want your team members to know about this particular patient. Here we have this section that is called used to create an estimate. This is actually linked to an estimate creator that I showed off in our smart suite showcase number two. I will leave a link in the description if you want to take a look at that video. We also have quote and payment info because we want to see the history of all the quotes we've sent them, what they've approved, what they've paid for. We have some formula fields that are summing up the amount of payments received, the total price of the quotes, and the total price of quotes that are approved by using a sum if the status is approved by patients. Moving down to our last bit, we have the documents and IDs. This is linked to any documents if you want to attach them here. If you want to upload directly into a files and images field, you can as well. Going back to the top, I haven't talked about this activity count yet, and this is counting up all the activity that's happened between opportunities, interactions, appointments. We're summing the count of linked records to this particular patient that are in completely different apps and bring it into one place. Now that we've gone through the structure, let's take a look at the views to see how we're looking at this data. So at the top, we have this patient list. Down below, we have patients by employee. So here is a chart view where we are looking at the status value and grouping it by assigned to. I don't have a ton of data for this particular build out because this is just an example. But as you were to have more team members in here, you would have the grouping of statuses to show you how many patients you have in your pipeline. And maybe you wanted to focus only on active customers. You can simply use the interactive legend here and only select active customers. You can also look to see which customers that I brought in, clicking on the chart here. Moving on, we have the quote prices of all employees. This line chart is actually summing up total payments received on a first created basis. So as you create payment records, it's actually adding up here, but as you add more, you can really see how you're growing. And with this chart total here, you can see your sales as well. And then finally, moving down to the dashboard, this is a place to have your quarterly meetings and get that overall view of what's happening, how you're growing. You can see we have some metrics to show the number of new payments compared to last, customers towards an overall goal. We have charts we're bringing in. You can drag and drop this to really customize it. You can start with the available widgets we have in our widget library. To wrap this up, by staying in the Patients app here with our linked records, you're able to get that 360 degree view of what's happening with a particular patient. You don't even have to leave this app to see all of that. That wraps up this Smart Suite showcase today. Hopefully you understand a little bit more about how to manage patients inside of Smart Suite or just improve your CRM altogether. If you have any requests for what you wanna see in a future Smart Suite showcase, feel free to leave them in the comments below as long as with your questions. I'll make sure to answer them. Thanks and I'll see you next week.